Let's listen now live to what they have to say. Father, we thank you for the peace and the comfort that your presence brings. We thank you that our scene is home with you. And we ask God that we would continue to look forward to that day when reunion happens. For now, God, we just continue to pray for your peace and your comfort on Jeff, on Lily, on the entire family. Thank you, Father. It's in your son's name we come before you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Step right up to the microphone. Okay. Okay. Uh, at this time, the Herring family would like to thank all of you for being here today. We would also like to thank the Bridgeton Floating Home community for all their prayers and support. Mom had a heart of go gold and will be truly missed. We would also like to thank Officer Brian Powell with the Portland Police, the first person on scene. Sergeant Keith Bybee with Multnomah County Sheriff's Department, the search and rescue teams made up of adults and high schoolers, Multnomah County dive team, the two search dog teams from North Star, that's N-O-R-S-A-R -S and Mountain Wave Rescue. We would also like to thank our daughter, daughter-in-law, Julie Herrick, and all of her friends that put in many hours looking for mom and posting missing person's flyers and we'd like to have a very special thank you to Detective Heidi Helwig and Detective Eric Hammer for the hundreds of tireless hours that they have put into this case. A very special thank you to the pastors of Crossroad Church of Portland, Pastor Chris and Debbie Blair and Pastor Tom Burgess for their ongoing prayers and support through this difficult time. Our hearts go out to the Cooley family as they also as they also try to find closure for the loss of their loved one. We will prepare for memorial service when the time is right and we would ask that you respect the family's privacy as we continue forward in this process. Donations can be made in lieu of flowers at crossroadsportland.com in remembrance of Marcine. Thank you very much. We'd also like to thank um, Von Ebert East Restaurant. Um, they allowed us to have a hub there for all the volunteers. Um, they've been feeding us, letting us use their restrooms. Um, there's been several people um, that have been out looking. Um, Bobby, Anna, Krista, um, am I missing anybody? and Molly. Um, I'm just so grateful for the enormous amount of volunteers that came out, strangers, people we don't even know. Um, our Facebook um, presence has been huge. Over 50,000 people um, have either shared or um, heard about the case. And I, we're just grateful that um, he's been apprehended and uh, he can't hurt anyone else. Jeff, we've learned a lot about the suspect's background. Yes, we have. You've been listening uh, live to statements and a prayer from the Herring family, uh, the family of Marcine Herring. She was the 89-year-old woman who was found dead in the trunk of a car earlier this week. Timothy Mackley was driving the car that Herring was found in. He has been charged with murder, and he has pleaded not guilty.